Ladies, gentlemen, welcome back to the news. Let's get into it. Starting off the news this Thursday, we have the Naval Reaper and Golden Raider, the two upgrade packages for September, of course, Naval Talk Pirate Day themed, and we have more info on them on the design notes. Uh, the Naval, the top tier one, the 12k 12 month, will come with two armors, Naval Reaper and Golden Reaper. I'm going to guess this is Golden Reaper and this is Naval Reaper, judging by the shoulders. Just a guess. They, I don't think they ever actually tell us which one's which anywhere on here. Oh, it says it right here. Okay, it actually clarifies it, which is good. So the Naval Reaper is the one in the front. So that one's Naval. And that one is the Golden Raider in the back. So I actually like the Golden Raider better. I'm not a fan of the uh, skull on the arm. I think that one looks better and uh, do you get the golden oh you get the golden raider with the low tier package that's actually six so that's a very good value because i actually like that one more so you get both the armors with this one uh, low tier and high tier armors three helmets five weapons three capes skull and bones chest pet i think that's just a pet i don't think that's actually a bank pet or anything like that i think that's just a visual pet and then you get the normal XP gold class point boost that you always get. And you get the Golden Raider armor, helmet, two different helmets, two capes, two weapons, and the rep boost and stuff like that. Along with, starting this Friday, is up to 50% more. So you don't get 50% more on every one of them, but up to 50% more. Uh, of course, 50% being the 12k package, I think it goes down in percentage the lower tier package you get. So yeah, it's a good time to buy ACs when they do the 50% more uh, sale, they do this Almost every TLAPD, they do a sale like this, so that's very good for people buying ACs for stuff like uh, a rank's birthday and uh, TLAPD, a bunch of events coming out soon where you're going to need some ACs if you want like light caster class or any of the new navels, including Shadow Dragonborn Naval Commander. Uh, so it's like kind of the dark one, kind of dark black and red sort of looks pretty nice. I mean, I don't know. You have so many colors to choose from. It'd be hard not to wear the next navel I'm going to show you over this one, of course. A color changing navel. All right, boys. So, you know, a color custom navel would have been nice, but I think this is kind of cool. I don't know if we've ever had a color changing armor before. It changes colors every time your character blinks, by the way. You can see that if you look closely at this. Every time the character blinks, the color will change. So it's kind of cool. It's a slow color shift sort of uh, navel. I want them to use this on other armors now. I mean, it's really cool, but this would be... I could see some cool applications for like swords and stuff where they change color. Oh my god. It would be so weird. Like, uh, they added combat animations to weapons where they would change or add something to the weapon when you got into combat with the weapon. So now we have color changing uh elements on armors which i don't know how easy it is for, for them to implement that if it takes them a long time or not but it'd be cool to see that on new uh different armors but this one's definitely cool and i'm going to guess that this is going to be with the 10k chest uh with all the navels in it so it definitely adds some value to that uh last time they posted on the notes about it, it had nine armors i think that number has increased since then with the add of the crystal dragonborn and I think they made some more. I think there's like a total of 10, 10 or 11 different armors. I think it's 10 uh, Dragonborn Naval Commanders now. House items, damage boost items, and a Waver and Bank Pet that you can only get in the 10k chest. So they're adding a bit more value to that with a color changing armor. If that armor is in the bank, it'd be kind of sad if it wasn't in uh, the 10k treasure chest, the Dragon King treasure chest. It'd be kind of sad if that wasn't there, but. It looks cool, and I can't wait for that. That item, I think it's worth a 10k by itself. In my opinion, it's color changing. It looks amazing. Sorry for the weird cut. Um, here are a few. I was I remembered I had this while I was editing. So here are a few images that were on Root's character page. A few characters on Root's character page I got. So we have the Vulcan. Nevo, Vulcan? Vulcan? I don't know. Something like that. Uh, this was in game on his character page, so if a version of Vulcan Sable was coming out this year, this would probably be the version. So there you go. Uh, we have the Dragonborn one, of course, with the sword. I don't know if you've seen that sword already, but uh, that's probably what the sword's going to look like 
for the Vulcan, or not for, for the Dragonborn Naval, and the Paladin one. I think the Paladin one's gonna be my favorite like design this year. It's very simple, very clean, nice colors. So there are the three navels. Well, actually, there's the also the Obsidian Paladin, but I didn't get a picture of that off of uh, Root's character page. So yeah, don't be surprised if you see this in game, although it is not confirmed yet. So I normally don't show uh, a lot of, I see a lot of fan made stuff every, um, I don't know if this is fan made, but I see a lot of fan made stuff for AQW. I don't know if this is going in game or not. Elena retweeted it, that's why I'm showing you this. So you can take of that what you will. Uh, it looks really nice and uh, I would love to see that in the video game. That might be a TLABD set. I don't know, we'll see. And uh, this Friday we have the Dragon of Envy coming to Adventure Quest Worlds. So it's going to be a castle, apparently. Uh, so it's right there, and that's all the info we have. So we'll have to see. That's the art for the dragon right there. It looks pretty nice, and it's a two-part series, sadly. Um, I guess. I don't know, because we have a confirmed date for TLPD. It's on the 18th, so it's 19 days from the day I'm uploading this video. Uh, Talk like a pirate day, the event. 19 days, it's on the 18th. So... That's when the event will start. The 18th is, uh, yes, yes, it's 19 days from now. I like, uh, we don't know when the part two, I don't know if they're going to do part one this week, part two next week. I don't know when Arenix's birthday is. Uh, it should be sometime this month. It might be on the 25th. I'm not sure what day his birthday is, but maybe someone in the comments knows what day his birthday is. Uh, so we could tell when part two of this is coming out, but part one is coming out tomorrow. Last uh, but not least, we have a TLAPD set, an armor of some sort, a naval perhaps. I think it is actually a naval for a Vision Quest 3D. I don't, if you don't play Vision Quest 3D, it's still cool to see what the 3D version of a naval would look like. And this is it. Uh, Dage confirmed that it's going to be about the same price as the AQW navels. Yeah, I think he says right here, most likely the same price as AQW navels. So, yeah, not including weapon, of course. So, like, 1.1 KAC would be the price on this. And uh, I hope they do, like, a black version of this. Like, I want uh, not a black version, a red version. They already did a black version for the uh, Kickstarters. But a red version of this, kind of like the red version of the navel for AQW would be really sick. Like, red and yellow would be very nice. So, that is all the news we have for Adventure Quest this month. Not month, week. God damn it. This week, uh, we'll be back here next week for more news if some news pops up. Uh, we didn't have a lot of news this week, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll be live streaming the new event, the NV Dragon, tomorrow. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.